Okay then, in this video I'm going to show you how to make an alcohol stove or in the UK we know it as methylated spirits um, out of two drinks cans. Now these are two um, pop uh, or sodas is known in the United States cans, it can be beer cans, any cans uh, so all you need is two cans some methylated spirit or alcohol cotton wool a sharp knife some sandpaper or a sand block something roughly to hold the knife at the height I'm using a lid of a jar because it's the right height I want to cut the uh, cans I'll show you that in a minute and one either a pin or a um, drawing pin just to pierce some holes later on so let's get going the first thing we need to do is get your knife this is a Stanley knife and what you need to do is there's many ways you can do this but this is the way I'm going to do it just to demonstrate to you so you get your, it's got to be a stable object get the knife and you can see there that's the height I want to cut. Now on the can you want to make sure when you are using the can that the base around here is not dented or damaged that helps a lot um, basically. Um, you can some people like to take all all this off all this colour off so it's just down to the silver. I'm not going to do that for this so what I'm going to do is make a start. So you get your knife nice and steady and basically go around circling around the can. And what will happen is there we go. You can start There we go, and once you get in, hold the can like that, solid. And proceed in a circle. And another idea really with, uh, with this, if you use the knife just to pierce the can and I'll show you that now making sure you keep your hands so if you slip you're not going to hit yourself Right, once you get a hole in like that, you can see that, a split there. It's safer and easier really to get a scissors inside the can. And then proceed carefully to go around. And then you end up with something like that. So you've got two of them now. They don't have to be perfectly straight on the edges but uh, that's the idea anyway. Okay so now what we want to do is file just around this edge because it's very very sharp and care has to be taken. 
Uh, what we want to do now is basically we're putting these two together like that one has to go inside the other but because they're the same size you're going to have a job to do it so what we have to do is decide which one is your base get another can preferably a full one in this case it's a can of uh, Guinness um, and then press that inside the base like that and sort of press it as hard as you can and what that will do is it will stretch this here in order to receive this and all you do is you press it down like that just for a bit there we go there we are then once we've done that cotton wool inside the stove in the base and the reason for the cotton wool is that will absorb the alcohol or mets and also makes it a bit safer if you should spill the stove when you're using it right so that should now nearly quite easily Now then, once you come together, simply push all the way around. There we are, you'll hear that hiss. And what you'll end up with is something like that. So, now you've got that, what we need to do is we get our pin, any sort of pin will do, and we need to make a fill hole which is in the center there so what we do is you can actually make four so that's it so you'll end up with that four holes now what we need to do is make the jet holes around the edge and the best way to do that if you want to do it I do what the way I do it is like this. I'll show you now. Make one first, like that. Make one first, like that, and then make one opposite. You can use a ruler if you want, but I'm not going to for this video anyway. There. So what you do is get two like that, one each side, and then do the same here. Right, after you've done four, one, two, three, four, you want to make maybe either two or three in between I'm going to put three so there we are that's all done <clears throat> so they've come together four fill holes there and as you can see I've now done all the jet holes around the edge so all I need to do now is fill it um, and take it outside and test it so this is methylated spirits the white stuff's the same so be very careful, just let that fill up. There we go. Of course the cotton wool will absorb all that you see. There, so you can see I've just filled it. I mean it will drip if you tip it. But it's, you see, it's not, well it's not actually, it's not dripping. So it's a bit of a safety feature. Okay, I've just been outside and it's far too windy actually to, to test this out there. So what I've done is I've brought it onto a tiled floor and what you've just got to do is, you, I know it's full, um, you just need to prime it really. Oh, and 
uh, you can either do that by heating underneath with a lighter or as I've just done, just pour mess around it. And don't worry about the mess. That'll soon burn up. And then what should happen is, as you can see, the flames. And that should start it off then. I know the floor's on fire, but that's alright, that'll burn off. But it's a good little stove actually. I'll just zoom out a bit so you can see it. It's not that big normally, <coughs> it's just that there's so much uh, excess fuel for a bit much there. But as you can start to see now, well in fact I'll take the camera off, hang on. Right, as you can see, see the jets working. All the excess fuel is burnt off now. So that's burning off its own power. As you can see the jets there. Nice and quiet. And the good thing with this is it burns for about 25 minutes uh, when it's full. And a good flame as you can see. Uh, you don't need any electric with it. You don't need any gas canisters. All you've got to do is the cost of a couple of cans and uh, just a bit of time to make it and the good thing is it's so light it must be the lightest fuel stove out there really it's compact you can carry it and uh, very lightweight but a windshield round that and you're laughing as you can see no problem so that's the uh, homemade alcohol stove. Well in fact, I did bring it outside and it's very windy. You can tell, I'm sure you know. It's starting to sleet. But there it is, still going. No wind protection around it. So that's it. Good test.